So God created the Garden of Eden. The word Eden is most likely an Aramaic root meaning plentiful and abundant. And the plentiful here is water. Lots and lots of abundant and plentiful springs. Now, whenever we think of garden today, we think of a small square piece of land with rows designed for growing crops or plants. But this garden was like how we use the phrase botanical gardens, describing this beautiful and lavish piece of land. And in this case, it was a huge and lavish piece of land. There's one river that flows from Eden and splits into four rivers. So in Genesis 2, we find this, a river of water in the garden flowed from Eden. From there, it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is the Pishon. It winds through the entire land of Havala, where there is gold. The gold of that land is good, aromatic raisin, and onyx are also there. The name of the second river is Gihon. It winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Asher, and the fourth river is the Euphrates. So you may think, hey, cool, I know where the Tigris and Euphrates are. It's in the Fertile Crescent in modern day Iraq, so that's totally where the geographic location of the garden was. Well, not so fast. See, the other two rivers, the Pishon and the Gihon, are just nowhere to be found today. Although it is possible that a dried up river in Saudi Arabia could match the description for the Pishon. But more than likely, the four rivers described in the Garden of Eden just don't exist anymore today. See, after the flood, the entire face of the earth was changed and any river would be completely different. The bottom line is that nobody knows exactly where the garden is today, but there you go, a little bit about the Garden of Eden, and that's enough today for our historical minute.